when I was coming up, mm -hmm. there was the record for what's the farthest object in the universe. Okay. And it's measured by redshift. So, okay. uh, and the, with the letter Z. And there's a mathematical form for that. But the bigger is the Z, the bigger is the, it, the farther away the object is. Okay. In my day, the farthest objects were Z of five. Okay. Okay. When I was growing up, coming up in right. ranks. Right. We might have hit six when we built the Rose Center. 25 okay. years ago. Okay. The farther away it is, the closer back in time it's getting. To the beginning of to, the... To, correct. Right. But not only that, start from the beginning of the universe, you couldn't make anything until the universe cooled down. Right. All right? To the point where matter forms. Like right. atoms form. Right. Now we have atoms. Now the atoms can coalesce and make stars. Before they make stars, the universe is still expanding. We call that the Dark Ages. Hasn't made stars yet. Oh, wow. Okay. We called it the Dark Ages. Interesting. All right. JWST looks around, found galaxies in the Dark Ages. Redshift 14. Oh, my gosh. 14. That's crazy. My head is exploding. Yeah. So first, what? A galaxy at Redshift 14? Holy shit. Okay. A. B. That's in the Dark Ages when it ain't supposed when to be. When it's not supposed to be there. So too, now we too, have an incongruency time-wise. Yes. Or we don't understand or how we galaxies We just don't understand how galaxies form. Correct. Which or is, we had a totally cool dark galaxy. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> it's me, your dark galaxy. <laughs> you can call me the chocolate galaxy if you want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's all the time we have. Yes. We that got, was great. We got a lot in there. Man, we got so many questions in. Okay. So shut up. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Star Talk Cosmic Queries Edition. Neil deGrasse Tyson, your personal astrophysicist. As always, keep looking up.